everybody this is Christina the person behind the bag junkie shop and I just want to do another video today talking about what Zolan Avenue is and basically Zolan Avenue is another business of mine that branched off from the bag junkie shop and it's just basically talking about um, planner stickers shipping labels um, stickers for your planners um, just a mix of different things like if you need a label for your candle business if you have a business um, that consists of products such as bath and body beauty cosmetics or anything like that I can make the labels for that and then also um, items such as this journals and things like that that's just the back of it but little personalized journals um, kind of different ones in here but they're on my website taken out like something you know like oh gosh let's see this one says start fresh I don't know if you guys can kind of see it but it could kind of say whatever you want it to say and then it can come in any color but sometimes we need like those daily reminders or a journal that we have strictly for this particular business his class anything like that um, so that's also an option and then I have something like this um, dream plan with the lepers you guys know I'm a leopard fanatic and then I have something like this called goals and then also like I said it can say whatever and then it's just you know um, paper line paper in it but yeah, that's an option right there. And then I also have this one, Entrepreneur, for those entrepreneurs. Just something quick and easy that you could put in uh, with your laptop bag or your um, tote bag, bag, whatever you use on a daily basis, book bag. Just something like that. And then also, for example, I have, I have keep all of them in here. But um, I just made this one today. Because, of course, it's January. It's the end of January. So, you know, next month is Black History Month and it's Valentine's Day at the same time. So the stickers that I printed today are for these right here. And then these are the... I can't think of it. But you can actually just take it off. These are not the die cut. I forgot the other name of them. But I'll post it in the video at the bottom. But... This is it right here. So you just peel as you go when you need it. This will be good. Like if you have a business, you're shipping off packages. A lot of times I make stickers for those people who are Etsy sellers, who sell on Macari. You want to ship off your orders and you want to kind of put like a personalized touch. Those who are on Poshmark, um, they sometimes buy from me. You know, just just something where it's just not like shoes in a bag and then you pay for them and then it just gets dropped off like kind of like a thank you for checking out my shop thank you for doing this that and the third you know you kind of showing some type of appreciation and then also that's another thing that i do thank you cards thank you notes things like that you know as a business owner owner it's best when you ship your products it's best to have either like a business card in there a thank you card or something thank you for uh, shopping small thank you for your order something like that you know you just want to put a personalized touch um, real quick to let them know hey I'm not just throwing this item and rushing it to you I'm showing you that I appreciate it it kind of took the time to get it together so now I'm shipping it to you so when the person opens it up they kind of appreciate it if that makes sense but yeah I just printed that and um, Zolan Avenue is actually on Etsy so yeah so that's where you can purchase my items there and this is another one that I created just to give you guys an example it says you've got great taste another um, option you know you just peel it off put it wherever you need um, on your what is it um, your plastic bags your containers things like that for those who sell t-shirts of course everything will always come in here you just fold it down and then you can put a sticker there put a sticker here it can even be uh, 
a sticker with your logo or company name or whatever you want to size small whatever just to give you an example so these are all i made a couple of those and then i have some for example let me pull this out your package is here now this one isn't cut but this will be cut cut out where you just peel it and put it on your boxes your shipping boxes your packages anything like that then i also have thank you stickers i mean they can come in different colors different sizes if you want them die cut or if you want to just peel off um the packages like for instance i made some just for my business the bag junkie shop i've used some but these are the big ones um just different fonts that i use and i put them on my um, packages when i ship them off you know just as a quick little touch personalized touch and then for those who want to use stickers for like say a planner i've also made some like this where it has like coffee donuts things like that you know just a daily reminder of how many times i've had coffee because i'm an avid coffee drinker so i need to know <laughs> but anyways i have stuff like that a lot of people like that you know just to keep track of what they've um, eaten in a day and then i also have some other type called happy mail where you know of course you just you know peel it off but happy mail just it's so many ways that you can personalize your packages with your business Everything don't always have to say your business name, which you want it on there somewhere, but you know, just something quick and easy. Then I also have some girl gang, girl boss um, stickers like this. Oh, you can't really see it. My ring light is a fool right now. But you can also check my um, Etsy um, site so you can see a better image. But you know, just a group of girls hanging out, chilling. The color scheme is pretty nice and neutral, so just something like that just to give you an idea and then eventually let's see what else oh this is an example of some of the thank you cards this is basically on a hard stiff card stock so it's not like real flimsy but just a little thank you insert that you could put in if you want to put like a coupon code of course you have your website anything like that you can put something on the back you could put a sticker on the back or you can even use this as a way to personalize a handwritten note if you want to do that some people you know like to do a little touch but i'm just trying to give you an example of you know some of the stuff that i do and then also on a bigger scale i've used this thank you for supporting my small business and then i just have like an instagram um, camera or just a camera and then i have the bag chunky shop so I could pretty much make any type of label, sticker, or whatever um, with any color scheme, any name, anything like that. Just to give you guys an update. And then I also made some other stickers like this. Um, living my best life, hustle hard, barely bougie, you know, stuff like that. Black and love. This is just like, you could put these any anywhere. And so pretty much the stickers, they can come, they come all in a white matte unless you want a white glossy. Um, and then also you have the option of getting like a weatherproof where pretty much these stickers, you can put them on laptop. Um, it's best to, you know, if you have a laptop, it's best to use like a laptop case or skin because you don't want to mess it up anyway. And then you can plaster it with stickers and stuff like that, like how I do. And then also inside of my laptop. Um, by the keyboard area by the mouse on um, pad area I have stickers as daily reminders like um, like kind of like goal setting stickers to help me progress during the day so I don't get off track and things like that but um, but yeah with the stickers I have a machine where um, you know I make make them design them on a system and then I have a cutting machine and of course you have to use a printer and then you have to use a cutting machine to cut them out so I can cut them um, to any shape or you know the standard circle square rectangle things like that um, so yeah 
if you have any questions about Zolan Avenue, be sure to, you know, leave a comment below. Send me a DM. Send me a message. I'll have all that information provided in my description box. Also, um, be sure to like this video. Be sure to subscribe to this video so, so that you will be notified anytime I post something new. I'm trying to do better for this year. Post more. Let you guys, you know into my world a little bit more because i am kind of you know you never see me but you always see what i'm doing see what i'm making but you know i want to do better for other entrepreneurs as well as for myself so yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye